In the lectures we're going to be talking about Velcro, um, so as part of that demonstration we've got a giant Velcro wall and it was quite a mission to get up here, obviously we're in a, a pretty small space, um, it's quite a, an old precious building with all these chandeliers and things, so we had quite a lot of difficulty making sure it got up and didn't damage anything. But we're going to be talking about the science of Velcro and how Velcro was discovered and how it has to be really small to make it work. Then we're going to be going from Velcro down onto the really small scale. Um, so we're going to go onto this machine here, which is a scanning electron microscope. And this is used to look at really, really small things. Um, so you can see on the screen at the moment, we've got some, some Velcro that we've actually got under the microscope. And you can see these are the, the actual hooks on the Velcro. They're about a millimetre in size. So we're going to look at the Velcro, and then we're going to use that to go down into really small things. We've got a head louse that we're going to look at. So this is absolutely tiny. This is like the kind of nits that you have in your hair. So across there, that's about a width of a human hair. So this microscope allows you to look at things on the really, really tiny scale.